let's have a look at Mutual of Omaha's electronic application. We're going to do a Medicare supplement app and walk you through it using their nice little sandbox feature. And a sandbox is just a way of you to play with the app, get used to how it works without actually submitting real business. So you can play in here, put in any kind of info you want, and just get a feel for it before you're sitting in front of a client. So we're going to break this into four parts. Uh, first is opening and accessing the e-app. Uh, step two is we're going to complete the app. Step three, we'll put in our client's billing info. And then step four, we'll, we'll sign the app and have our client sign the app as well. So let's get started. When you sign into the portal, uh, you'll see this big orange button, start a new quote. So that's pretty self-explanatory. And then your existing cases will be listed here along with the status. So we're going to start a new quote. And the distinction there is we get a quote before we run the app. So first things first, we'll start the quote. Okay, the date of birth, 05 22 1953. Part A is 05 1 2018. And this is going to be a January 1st effective date. So we're going to say no household discount not open enrollment, not guaranteed issue, and we are a male. No tobacco, six foot, 180, and get a quote. Now at the top we have the results for all the available plans, and we are going to stick with our most popular plan, the plan G. Shows you the premium. So we're gonna stick with the meds up for now, and press apply. Now the app loads and remember we're in the sandbox this isn't real we're just testing this out. Along the left side are all the steps we need to go through to complete the app. So let's just jump in. There's our info we're, we're at 122 West Prairie Avenue. Client wants that um, in the mail, so we'll hit no. And they do want a temporary ID card. And we'll hit next. Add the social, Medicare number. Yes, 501-2018. And those are already selected from the previous screen. We did not turn 65 in the last six months, nor did we enroll part B. Now for the household discount, we've already selected no, so we'll hit next. And existing coverage. To keep this simple and get through this in less than a day, we're gonna just choose no for this stuff. And hit next. Now for the health questions. If you find yourself doing a lot of these, um, I, I have a little tip, just a keyboard shortcut. I'm pressing N on my keyboard and then tab, N tab, just selecting no. It's a lot faster than using the mouse. Okay, and I'm going to hit next. Meds, I'm going to skip that and just say we're not on any meds. Again, just to keep it fast, you, you can add those if you need to. The client uh, is going to do electronic signature. That's sort of the point of doing an e-app. So then we select the initial payment option. So you could do a credit card for the initial payment. We're going to do a bank draft and automatic bank drafts going forward. Account owner is the applicant. This is a checking account. So it loads your bank automatically. Account number. And now we have the option to do a specific day of each month. Or we could say, for example, we want the second Tuesday as an option. We're just going to go with the first of the month. 
Okay, we don't have any previous insurance. Um, it does want us to select NA if we can't. So again, I'm going to hit NA on my keyboard. And next. We have not sold any other policies to that client. We'd like to deliver it to ourselves, the agent. And we are agreeing to sign electronically. We've interviewed the proposed applicant. They're going to sign it in whatever city and state your client is in. And we heard about Mutual of Omaha through an agent ourselves. Now, if you have any underwriting notes, tick the box and enter them here. If, if you've got a, you know, someone taking a certain medication for, for some reason that might trigger a decline, here's your chance to explain it. So if you've got a special case, be sure to include it here. You'll notice on the left-hand side, we have all these green check marks, except for the Illinois checklist. Since we're in Illinois, we've got to fill this out. And here's something in yellow. So if we read it carefully, we'll notice, we'll notice I forgot to add none. Now we'll scroll down and continue. And now that's green. So we fixed our mistake. We're ready to continue to review. Now, since we used a fake Medicare number on this Sandbox app, uh, it's complaining that our Medicare number was not able to be found. I'm gonna pretend that this is a real number and we're just gonna hit continue. Now, in your case, if you did make a mistake, you can always go back and edit it, but I'm just gonna continue. Now, we have a chance to just review once again, scroll through the entire app, make sure nothing's out of whack, and once we're happy, we'll hit submit. And from here, your client gets an email that's going to ask them for a signature. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So here's the email that your client gets. Jason, your Medicare application is ready for you to complete. So all they have to do is click the link. Clicking the link, loads this page with the auth number already included and all they have to do is enter their date of birth and sign in. Then they just scroll through the disclaimers and statement of consent and all they do there is press agree to continue. Now they see the premium. They can open any of these documents to view them. And once they're ready, they press the button check the box. I acknowledge I'm signing in Decatur, Illinois. I accept. And here's where they submit their e-signature. And that's all they have to do. Nice and easy. Now, back on your dashboard, you'll have a running list of all the apps you've submitted. And there's the most recent one we did. Our client, Jason Ferguson, submitted his e-signature. And it's submitted for approval. So hey, I hope that helps. Um, it's very simple to do. Again, use the sandbox, get familiar with it. Try it out before you're sitting in front of a client and uh, I think it's gonna speed up your process significantly. So thanks for watching.